Iranian missiles and drones hit targets in Pakistan's Balochistan on January 16th. It demolished what's been described as two key strongholds of the Jaish e al dhum or Jaish e al adl terrorist group. In response to this, Pakistan issued a strong condemnation of the unprovoked violation of its airspace. Pakistan said the attacks had resulted in the death of two innocent children while injuring three girls. So who are the Jaish e al adl Why did Iran attack their bases? Let's find out in this video. The attacks took place in the town of Panjgur, close to the border with Iran. A mosque about 50 kilometers inside the Pakistani border was damaged in the strikes as per Pakistani officials. Now, one of the Iran semi-official news agency reported that the focal point of this operation was the region known as Ku Sabz Green Mountain in Balochistan. It is recognized as one of the largest hubs for the Jaish e al dhul militants. Who are the Jaish e al adl Jaish e al adl literally translates to the Army of Justice. They are a Sunni Salafist militant group with bases in Pakistan's Balochistan province. They are one of several Sunni militant separatist groups who claim to be fighting for the independence of the Sistan and Balochistan. That province is in the southeastern corner of Iran bordering Pakistan's Balochistan province and the Indian Ocean. Let's dive into the history of conflict with Iran. The Jaish e al adl have been launching attacks against Iranian border guards since around 2013. They have claimed to have carried out bombings and kidnapped Iranian border police personnel. Now, last year, they stormed a police station in Rask, which falls in the Sistan and Balochistan area. The attack resulted in the killing of 11 Iranian police forces. What are the roots of the Jaish e al adl the Jaish e al adl are variously considered as being either an offshoot or an avatar of the older Jindala terrorist organization based in Pakistan's Balochistan. US counterterrorism intel suggests that Jindala changed its name to Jaish e al adl in 2012. The US State Department had designated Jindala as a foreign terrorist organization on November 4, 2010 then amended the designation in 2019 to include the Jaish e al adl name. The Jaish e al adl was founded by the former Jindala leader Abdul Malik Riki in 2002 or 2003. Abdul Malik led the group until 2010 when he was captured and executed by Iran. After Abdul Malik, the group split into several elements of which JAA became the most active and influential. Iran considers JAA to be Jindala's successor and the leader of Baluch resistance in Iran. JAA also calls itself People's Resistance of Iran. It is based in Iran's Sistan Balochistan province and operates in the adjoining area spread over Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Now, according to the DNI, the JAA primarily targets Iranian security personnel but has also attacked Iranian government officials and Shia civilians.